Uh, thank you so much for the introduction. Uh, I think it is like the biggest thing right now. Uh, I think with every challenge, there is a rise of opportunity. And wherever there is an opportunity, there is a possibility of innovation. I think with this topic, I think she already defined, we are talking about the death of cookies. Basically, death of third party cookies. And is it what is it for programmatic? Is it like a thread? So we'll have a deep down in, inside discussion with the key panelist. And these are like a base group. I'm sure we'll have a lot of insights coming from there. Uh, from this note, I reintroduce myself. My name is Bharat. And I will make sure that I'll keep this uh, group alive because you are welcome back from the lunch. I hope you had good lunch. Um, and I'm sure it is responsibility for a key uh, or panelist to make us very engaging and informative about this topic. I think I've already had my notes ready with myself so that I can note it down, go back with a lot of inputs. Um, uh, with this other topic, I think maybe as I think she already introduced that uh, since 1994, possibly we are using cookies, right? From it has evolved to different directions. From being only a recording as a publisher or a web session, mm -hmm. now it has evolved to a tool, like great tool for us to targeting, retargeting, mm -hmm. measure or attribute. Correct? All these things are being evolved in cookies. I think, but whenever we uh, were doing evaluating or Evolving this cookie as a mechanism in the digital ecosystem, we somewhere compromised towards our consumer as a, a provision, right? As a, you, we as a user, we as a consumer, we somewhere compromised. Uh, so let's let's hear from our panelist, uh, especially after mega news coming in the picture. He says that uh, cookie is getting depleted, things are changing. Um, finally, Google is making it happen. Uh, let's learn from our panelists, saying what exactly they can have to share because we have so many question marks. Um, I think let's start uh, with a very straightforward question to uh, ask Puneet first. Uh, what is it you see a, a future in, of digital or programmatic without cooking? What is it like a cookie-less future for us? Okay, uh, so let me uh, take a step back. You gave a reference of 1994. Let me start from there, you know, how the world of uh, advertising has evolved. And it is not, you know, like this change is happening for the first time. In 1994, two things happened. One, the world saw, you know, its first ever online banner from ATL. Another thing, in the same year, there was an uh, engineer called Mohl. He invented Cookie keeping the thing in mind that hey if I can track the and store the user activities I can give a better user experience. So remember it all started from giving better user experience. But in the next year 1995 double click got founded and those engineers thought hey I can take advantage of this cookie thing. I can serve ads throughout the internet. Then double click grew and in uh, around 2008, uh, Google bought double click. And it became sort of mainstream. The programmatic became mainstream. In 2016, GDPR came, CCPA also came around that time. Uh, now in 2020, Google uh, announced that, hey, now we are deprecating the third party cookies. Now we are discussing it. So it is the mainstream topic. But if you see the life of market years changed in 1994, because before that there was no digital market. I'm coming you know, from uh, Delhi, and relatively Bombay is a bit hot. Uh, but let me tell you, friends, the winter is coming. <laughs> and it will be a cookie less winter. Uh, how to prepare for that? See, it is not like the entire world will stop. It is just third party cookie you know, that is going to stop. But how it is going to affect you as digital marketer? If we look, you know, uh, if you look into you know your own you know advertising accounts, around 70 to 80 percent of remarketing runs on third party cookies. And next year, there will be no third party cookie. Starting next year. So better prepare for it. You still have the first party data. So prepare to collect and grow your first party data. But there is a but. 
Recently, if you have read, you know, that 25 page long, you know, uh, the DPDP bill, to collect your first party data, you need consent. So how the future will look like? If I need to sum it up in one sentence, consented identity is going to be the currency of the future. So if you need to collect something, collect this currency. Got it. Thank you so much. I think, I think with this, I saw a lot of people are investing towards something called consent management platforms, which is like a new jargon for us, all of us. But I think it's very important to balance uh, as, as a consumer PVC. I think that's important. Right? I think you're talking about the first part data towards. Uh, I think I think I would like to ask you, Ketan. Um, you know, since you're an expert, just an expert in that perspective. What do you think towards how industry should uh, cope up with this? Is there any specific strategy as a marketer or, or as a person uh, digital industry which you would like to understand or give more your perspective towards how to take care of the first party? Is there any specific strategy? Is there any specific thing you need to invest on? What is it? Give us. First of all, uh, thanks for thanks for inviting. It's a pleasure to talk in front of this audience. So thank you so much. Uh, thanks, brother, for the question. And uh, I think it's good to uh, see that Pony started with Wikipedia of cooking. So it's good. Yeah, winter is definitely coming. Uh, okay. I think the point what I want to stress first is on the first party data because that is what we have in our hands. Uh, the more we deep dive into it, I think that's a gold mine which probably we have not explored or uh, sort of unheard because we are depending on third party data, right? So I think that is where we need to uh, go deeper and uh, let's look at some of the brands, you know, let's look at probably Amazon or Netflix. Uh, you know, Amazon knows that whenever you go to add something on the cart, basis the first party data, you already have some brands, you know, where will Nachi used to say that, okay, I have this also as well. So they are also investing a lot of time in first party data and coming, I think, from a true caller perspective. Uh, you know, we recently launched a campaign, you know, in tier 20 20 three markets. And uh, what we try to do is that uh, look at deep dive into our internal cohorts because we have around close to 350 million users, right? And uh, see what are the kind of results you get at the top funnel and also at the bottom of the funnel, right? Uh, surprisingly with this what we have seen is that uh, we have got good engagement rates and good click through dates you know through again analyzing the first party data so let's not forget that it's a gold mine of data and we need to sort of get deeper into it and you know ultimately it's you know uh, necessity is the mother of invention right if you don't have it you have to rely on them and you have to dig deeper yeah I think that's a good perspective Ketan thank you for sharing especially from to call a perspective where you are launching certain campaigns on this. Uh, so Natsiket, I think I would like to understand from you since you are a technology guy, right? Like, like, how technology is, is enabling us right now to overcome this uh, cookie division. You, you, we, we know that it's going away. But what is it that from a technology perspective, technology side that you are viewing, how can we enable it more? Sure. Uh, the winter is coming, I think tech is jobs now. Uh, and uh, I spent I, I I relate to the trading topics when the kids are talking about it, right? Then those those topics are real. Uh, I was talking to my daughter, she's 10, right? We were having conversation, she was browsing and she saw that accept cookies and reject cookies uh, buttons and she started talking about it. She asked me, Baba kai hai? Sorry in Marathi, uh, talking in Marathi. Those who are not Marathi, so that what is this, right? We, we watch Bollywood movies, so... <laughs> Uh, and started explaining her that cookies are like this and they expect you to say yes so that they can start following you and they can give you relevant content or ads and she's like, why would I share it? Why would I give it? Right? Baba Meena Dana, Baba Nukho Ezra. Right? So she's like, I don't want to do it. And that's when I got shocked. Right? It's, these kids, 9 years, 10 years old kids, they understand that it's a privacy. They don't want to share their behavior. And it's intrinsic, right? They have not thought about it. I'm sure she wouldn't have read anything about it. But it's intrinsic, right? And that's where the future is, right? The, the privacy is real. While you and me might ignore it, but the next generation is not going to ignore it. They are not going to give out their details uh, easily to anybody out there. Whatever incentives you throw up to them, they don't care about it, right? Uh, so that's the reality. Let's face that. So it's coming and it's hitting hard. 
Uh, coming to the tech, sorry, I'm just stupid. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think uh, before we talk about tech, first thing is to uh, assess your current scope and current target and current tech start options, right? Uh, how much are you really reliant on third party cookies, right? As a company, as an organization, uh, are you really reliant? Some may not be, some may be, right? It depends on the vertical, the business that you are in, right? Uh, and then you need to start thinking about the cookie list strategy, right? It's not like cookie, cookie is going to go overnight and you will never aware of it, right? You know it. Uh, the challenge is when are you going to act upon it, right? And you need to act upon it now. And it's going to take, it's a journey, it's not going to happen overnight. Uh, so a lot of thinking needs to go into it. How much of first party reliance that I have? What are the data segments that I'm, I'm targeting? What those data segments are reliant on cookies or they're not reliant on cookies? Are there take options available which I can feed into my tech stack, which takes care of GDPR, which takes care of user uh, interest, user privacy? And can I use those data points, use those companies to start building my tech stacks and feeding that data out, right? Yeah. And we're just discussing, uh, you know, as, as panelists before, right, right? It's, it's not coming to the full circle. Uh, all of us will remember early days of digital planning by institution, uh, you know, selling. We started with what? This is the vertical I am in. I am a traveling client and I want to be seen in the travel content. Right? That's how the planning used to happen. Slowly and steadily we're getting back to it, we're calling it contextual now. Right? But it's no longer just a travel client and a travel content, right? The content is going to change. Uh, the behavior is going to change. There are multiple uh, simultaneous activities that your consumer is doing. So how you're reaching your end consumer contextually, how you're choosing those tools which are giving you right signals, right context, how ontology, how semantic science is getting into the place. Those technologies are going to help you form in your uh, next steps on, on your targeting strategies and reaching to the right audience in the right environment. This is very basic. You move a slightly advanced on that. Uh, we're all talking about uh, attention phenomena, right? So going beyond your CTRs, VTRs, views, etc. All your consumers are being thrown thousands of ads on a daily basis, right? And grabbing attention is, is now absolutely impossible. So how do I major attention of my communication? How do I optimize on attention and not really stick to the traditional metrics? Uh, so the tech is going to help answer all these questions. Uh, and I hope uh, you know it, it, it should solve a lot that the, everybody is like worried about. Well said, and Shikhar. I think you are bang on saying it, it is there. Technology is there to support us. I'm sure some innovation will happen towards it. And I'm, I'm sure as a marketer, all of us, or even if you're a publisher, or you are a technology company, or you are an advisor, I'm sure everybody will deep down, make sure, look at what you said, go ahead, build it, make sure we put it inside. I think that's very insightful. Thank you for sharing this. I think with this uh, pointer, uh, you are also talking about the example of your daughter, who you mentioned about. Uh, now I understand uh, from Gagan, we would like to understand from you, since now everybody, like Gregor is talking about uh, privacy, etc. But now everybody in a forum that I have heard, that I am listening, and I am practicing uh, in the last question also, people are talking about personalization, correct? You need to talk to your customer one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, it is very important to understand the customer and do some kind of a, uh, communication which establishes relationship and stickiness to her your customer. Now, what is your think from that perspective? How you would like to, or what do you think, how to balance between the privacy of your consumer and also look at your targeting opportunities? Do you think it is something that more difficult now? Or where is the balance going towards? Do we think personalization should not happen only on your customer, outside customer? How would you would like to understand your perspective? Thanks for having me here. So, so I have, uh, extra views beyond before I answer that question. So, so I don't believe in terms of So I disagree. Right? We don't believe in terms of Completely disagree. I think uh, third party cookies has been an easy way out. Right? That's why people have actually not innovated enough. Right? So in my view, uh, the amount of innovation you see now, like if you look at solutions like UIDs or device IDs or uh, learning of cohorts. Right? So actually the real things are coming now. Right? 
very similar to uh, during COVID time, the innovation on the video channel, the video, all the video conferencing tools were so high, right? So I would say this is the mother of invention. So in my view, uh, significant innovation will happen now, right? which actually somewhere all the good marketers are waiting for. And, uh, and it was third party cookies in my eyes has significantly diminished. So maybe I am maybe not the regular marketer, but I have seen it diminishing significantly in the last three to four years, maybe five years. It was pretty high earlier. So that way, uh, I would believe that uh, we are actually going into a very golden age where a lot of these issues will go away and we will have really innovative solutions. And the way things have been happening in the last two years since the announcements came of Pukilas World, uh, it has been, de it has been uh, delayed, but a uh, lot of new innovations are coming. In terms of privacy, uh, I guess uh, I don't think there is a balance, to be honest, because even today, uh, wherever there is privacy to be, to be respected, is being respected. Where it is not respected, it is not respected. Right? And in the future also, in the cookie-less world also, uh, people who don't respect privacy will do all sorts of things, will do. So in my view, it's a matter of continuous, there is no balancing. People who are balancing are balancing today also. Uh, we have uh, always, uh, personalization is critical, right? So personalization innovation has happened a lot. First party personalization really, really works. Right? Uh, if you are able to uh, look at your, uh, if you build your CDP well, CDP-like technology well, then, uh, and uh, the third party cookies will go away and will convert into mostly cohort-like targeting. Right? And cohort-like targeting has been there since six, seven years, right? in some ways or the other. Not to just become more public. Right? So that way, I think we will actually get into a very golden age, right? We'll get off, 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 out of that retargeting we used to dislike now and all of that is gone away, right? So cohort-based targeting, need-based targeting, behavioral targeting, all of that will come in. Uh, on top of that, you will have personalization data of your first party. So you can actually, the kind of technology coming in now, you can actually personalize on the fly, right? Uh, uh, personalize on the fly is not that straightforward uh, when you're not in a multi-product business. So, so that's something that will happen a lot. And people who have to value privacy will value. People who do not have never done that, and in future also they find a way out. So in my view, balancing is about your intent and not about technology. And uh, whatever you do, technology will always have both sides. There will always be ethical hackers and ethical hackers, right? So uh, that's my view. Maybe a little counter but that's my view. I think when you have ignited the debate, I think we were actually not shifting the debate. But I, I do a lot of stuff, as you said, from my perspective. Uh, that's all opinion because I think consent from every user who is browsing the internet is, is mandatory, it's important. Uh, you as a marketer, I would love if you do anything which is not without concern. If you look at global scenario, as an Indian also, I think we should respect more. Uh, I'm not saying we're not, but I think we should respect more. But I think that's what I'm saying. I, so you're talking about CDPs, but you're, not, you're saying that I will, I will not respect that consent. I think these are two different uh, areas you spoke about. I think that's interesting. That's what we are debating right now. And the second point is, while we are exploring towards using of more cookies, I think dependency of third-party cookies have gone to next level. Instead of you saying it is low level, in my perspective, of course. Uh, and I, of course, I will take other opinions. So because now with measurement tools coming up in the market, the kind of attribution we never did it before, because of thanks to third-party cookies that always enabled us to get more information we never had before. But I think with this note, since I'm not the speaker, I'm only the moderator. I will make sure that I will not end the debate. I will be on the outside and I'd love to hear from Anshuman. Uh, what is your opinion towards you as a marketer? What is your strategy um, to do audience targeting now in this mix where you only have first party, you can't do third party, you want to change it, it's like same, give, give your strategy towards as an insight for that we should more access. That's a nice question, uh, Paul, uh, I would say. Uh, if I put it across, uh, this is my perspective. Uh, coming in of first party cookies on more priority and third party cookies going out, I don't see much of a change when it comes to top funnel media that we are doing. Uh, top funnel media, there were affinity in markets in place, now flock is coming into picture, which is almost in the same lines, right? So my top funnel media is not going to impact. Uh, but if I look at from the bottom funnel perspective, definitely there will be some challenges uh, uh, which we'll have to cater to, right? Uh, we'll have to 
focus more on first party data so which i feel uh, as we as we i representing a cbj industry uh, is something where we need to look at you know how can we build a cdp in house can we focus more on first party to reach out to our users so that's what we we'll have to think through uh, second point i also would want to uh, cover from coming back to the same circle right uh, contextual targeting now obviously we will be doing it but how deep we can go on to contextual targeting that will be another game changer that we can look at um, simple example from my standpoint is apis right for example can you use to make it more contextually relevant can you use some api integration for example a weather right uh, and make it more relevant for the customer in terms of personal acquisition that is that is something which we need to uh, look at uh, lastly i also not from marketing standpoint but in general uh, one thing that i was reading uh, there was also a question about ad fraud right um, people were saying you know because third party cookies are going out uh, the environment will be more ad safe but i don't see it as a challenge also uh, because third party cookies the tracking for ad fraud standpoint is again bots right same problem is still here so overall from marketing standpoint i don't see much of a challenge or a disruption happening lastly attribution is one thing that will obviously i feel will have challenge because you will not be able to track the users across the overall ecosystem so there will be some impacts which i think we also as marketers need to figure out how it will happen with technologies coming into place so what we are trying to do internally you are trying to brainstorm towards how to invest where to invest first party and how do we i think maybe he supported you uh, i think uh, uh, yeah I, i can see that through um, i think before we end i would like to understand from all of you maybe anybody of you can pick it up I'd like to understand what are the main pain points that you you see a world without cookies uh, cookie less of course now third party we have established so many third parties any specific pain points that anybody of you would like to highlight would like to share with the group saying this is what Point for me. This is what I need to know. Anybody would like it? One thing I feel that uh, one problem which may emerge, right? There can be certain uh, certain powerhouses like the big tech can become more powerful in some ways because what happens is that some solutions like universal IDs may have some control somewhere. I am not very technical. Uh, Sorry, help me understand this yeah. more. So, for example, if you use universal IDs and all, right? So, some of right now when you do a third party cookie you have a lot of uh, options right but then there will be certain amount of uh, uids kind of a setup you can correct me if i am wrong yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. so then what will start happening is that there will be some control system which will come which is i am trying to read and understand which i believe there is some amount of risk there that you will have actually more uh, massive power somewhere which is not good right more democratic is better so that i am still trying to learn but uh, that is one possibility i sometimes feel so can we say that i think the, the key to uh, for this is maybe we do more experiments yeah and see whatever we are getting through us from technology side working for us or not coming that i think that's a great point i think it's not a great point but uh, accepting that this is happening and getting into action right uh, because it's yeah i mean it's it being discussed forever uh, but some date will happen when do we take action and uh, just to add on to it right test learn optimize right and it's no longer ab testing you need to be on a beta mode continuously right because nobody has an answer plus one plus one to this yeah so you need to learn you need to test a lot you need to learn a lot and then you have to identify what suits you best right? Okay. That's one of the very difficult exercises. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
attribution. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's a one takeaway I think later. Okay. Before the price. Anybody who's sitting here is something which is a pain point for marketer. Uh, I feel uh, media for media buying. I feel uh, rate disruption will come uh, to some extent. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, uh, because there will be market leaders, and there will be. I feel not many players will also be kind of phasing out. So there will be monopoly players who can, where you know they can somehow uh, make a impact on the media buying rates that we uh, do. So that is something which I have. So, so correct me if I'm wrong. I understand this because you're talking about 30,000 feet. Yeah. Let me go down. Uh, is it you're talking about maybe technology innovation companies coming? Yes. Will possibly can yes. ask for. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Because obviously uh, the publishers or the platforms will be investing on, in all these technologies, right? They will be trying to collect a lot of data. And that may will or will have an impact on the kind of CPM step we have. They will try to put an additional layer. Which will impact our me as an advertiser will impact on my uh, pocket. Which I one point I never thought of. We're looking from buying perspective. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, that's I was supposed to be noted on this. Uh, I think we'll end up with in case Puri, you would like to okay, you should end up. Uh, so one point you know about the big tag. Uh, so let me add to that. Uh, have you like it? Let me lighten the message. So there is a, a line from one of the rivers I really like. Uh, I'm not going to take the name, but you know which big tag it is. Mera kaate hi mera mansif hai, na jaane kaun jaane kya saja dein. So kaate means like a killer and mansif means just, and it is the same person. So yes, the big tag will become bigger, <coughs> mightier, stronger. Uh, now let me be the you know uh, the devil's uh, advocate. Uh, I'm not going to scare you, but uh, like I you know mentioned earlier, uh, first thing that you know uh, we need to do is invest in good CDP. Start collecting first party data. That is one. Second, the bill is coming. The DP. You need to you know collect data with consent. Now, what is consent? How to do that? If you have seen the movie Gangs of Wasit, you know, where, you know, uh, Lakeside, the hero, you know, puts hand on heroine's, you know, uh, you know over heroine's hand, and the uh, heroine says, what are you doing? And she says, sorry. She says, you should take permission. <laughs> I'm not saying no, but you should take permission. So, when you collect first party data, take permission. And with that, there was another movie, No means no. The user has the right to take back the consent. And once the user does that, no means no. You cannot show the ad any. So that is second. And the third thing, uh, more, you know, a discussion maybe on the third topic, you know, later on, that is going to change the life of digital marketer more than the third party cookie will change and that is AI. If you have experienced the chat uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that. I you know, had the first hand experience of that. It gives you, you know, a sort of uh, a peek into the future because you can interact, any any person can interact with that AI. Whatever most of you know digital marketers you know we are doing today, most of that work can be done by AI. So third point is look into that the AI world and think how can you take advantage of that and make AI work for you. Otherwise, AI will take you. May the God with you, be with you. I threaten some hundred jobs right now. Some of the, like, some of the thing we were speaking from JTPT. So we had asked for deals for the answer I didn't know. I think I want to uh, uh, conclude this as a moderator, but I think thank you for the great job. We have, we have taken my side also.
Uh, I think before I, uh, you know, was entering to this forum, I was I see a lot of people saying uh, cookies is getting is dying. This is a world without cookie less. I don't know what we'll do. What will happen? We have to investment. But I think after this discussion, and I'm saying very frankly, I never thought in you know, it that marketing saying this. I just have to invest in cost by data. That is more important. I need to look at what I'm doing. Investment towards what I'm doing in terms of personalization. I think it's like an eye opening for me, frankly. And I'm sure from a technology companies or people who are sitting here, it's, it's a good advantage for all of you or a can for all of you to innovate something there so that we can support the marketer. But I still say the concept is very important. Uh, let's have much more uh, balancing between how we do talk to our customers one on one and how we are able to take a consent also and make sure the future generation which is coming with Nazi get said. It is very, very important to respect that. And they are more aware, they are more evolved, and they can use more digital than us. So it is very, very important for us as this generation to do something which is much more meaningful with the best balancing between how do we able to take our stride towards our businesses, use our targeting, etc. But respect, they respect the future of I think they, they can kill a lot of stuff that we do. I think that is what, uh, look at the kids and then innovate something. That's, that's Shri Shri Bharat <laughs> <laughs> No, that's my sadhika talking, it's okay, but uh, I think, but thank you to all, all of you. I think it's been a wonderful panelist. Thank you so much, so much for your time. It's very insightful talks. Uh, and thank you all of you for bearing all of us. I think it was a great discussion. Uh, thank you. I mean, thank you.